Envelope generators are another critical component for modular synthesis. I'll talk about two styles and let me begin with a simpler version first. This is what is called the attack decay envelope generator and it produces essentially two uh, elements to its envelope. We have the attack phase, that's the increasing portion of the waveform, and then we have the decay phase where it's decaying back to zero. The purpose of the envelope generator is to produce a control voltage which can in turn be used by something like a voltage control amplifier or a voltage controlled filter or some other sort of processing component. Now the envelope, if when plotted as a function of time, is normally zero and then when something happens to trigger the production of that envelope, then we see that it rapidly uh, rises to a maximum value, so this would be the attack phase, and then it uh, begins decaying back towards zero. And this wave shape mimics the envelope of uh, many physical instruments where they have a uh, transient at the beginning and then the sound kind of tapers off towards zero after that. Now commonly the envelope is created using uh, an exponential and exponentials uh, from a mathematical standpoint look like e raised to the minus t over tau. Exponentials are also uh, very easy to make with resistor capacitor type circuits or RC circuits and uh, therefore uh, this style of envelope is fairly easy to make with analog electronics. Now the thing that causes the envelope to get its start is the gate signal coming in. The gate is normally low and then when some action causes um, uh, a, a need for an envelope to be generated, such as a key press for example, that uh, gate signal goes high and then when you release the key the gate goes low again. So the attack decay generator will be looking at this gate and whenever it sees that leading edge transition that's how it knows it needs to start the waveform. So commonly we would use a keyboard gating system to uh, actually trigger the exponential. Now probably the, the more general purpose version of this is referred to as the attack, decay, sustain, release version of the envelope generator. And this one has the advantage that it can uh, keep a non-zero value for the envelope while a key is being held down, you know, whether that's a short period of time or a long period of time. The uh, previous one you were looking at, once it finishes its de decay, I'm sorry, its attack region, uh, it immediately starts in on the decay. So ADSR is going to have the uh, initial transient, but then it can have a region where it remains constant. Of course, the ADSR also has the gating input as well. So let's imagine a key keyboard uh, being used for our gate. So as long as that gate is low, the envelope output is low. At this point, I've just started pressing a key. And I'll hold it down for a while and then release the key. Let's find out what the envelope would do with that type of gating signal. At the leading edge of the gate pulse, that's when we initiate the, the attack region of the envelope. Commonly we'll have the exponential shape for that. And then you can adjust all of these time periods, by the way. Um, so maybe shortly after that, it goes into its decay. And then instead of decaying back towards zero, it decays down to some value that's a little bit less than the maximum value.
So this constant region is called the sustain region. And this will remain active for the entire duration of the key press. As soon as we release the key, then we initiate the release phase, or the, the fourth phase of the envelope, and the signal returns back to zero. So this way we can generate a sound and it will persist as long as we have the key being pressed, which uh, would be desired for things like wind instruments, for example, like a trumpet. You want it to be able to stay on uh, as long as you're pressing the key. The nice thing about the release phase is that even when we release the key, we can have the sound persist for a little bit longer. And that, again, is a characteristic of many physical keyboard instruments is that they might have a little bit of sound happening after the actual key release.